Oh, a clean lens makes for better shots, really. Would never have guessed. <laughs> it comes up and says that just about every time I want to go to take a photo. Oh, what a star. Inside out and upside down. No stress, I'm a clean up this mess. La Hi everyone, it's Lee here. Thanks for coming back and spending some time with me today. And it's week 26 of the Marguerite Miller Weekly Collage Challenge. Prompts for this week are something that emits heat, a pair of something, a face, something royal, a bit of green. The bonus is text other than English or your native language. Okay, so that's the prompts. So I've got the things that I'm going to use. Um, something that emits heat. I have a candle. So it's a little bit of a stretch, but it does give off heat. A pair of something. I've got a pair of scissors. And uh, obviously I'm not going to stick them in my book, but I have the exact same pair of scissors in an image out of Daphne's diary. So I couldn't believe that. So that was lucky. So that's my pair of something. A face. I've got this face, which is one that I drew. And then I scanned it and I've got copies of it in various sizes. So I'm not sure which size I'm going to use, but one or the other. Uh, something royal. Julie sent me this card, which is a Royal Albert uh, card from uh, the Royal Albert China sets. So what I thought I would do is cut out the center and the face will go in that frame so that's why I've got the two size faces I'm not sure which one will fit in there the best and then the Royal Albert I'm going to cut that out and it's got a little crown on there so I'll we'll use that my bit of green is part of um, a, oh that was part of my doodling one week one month that bit but on the other side is some green jelly print this is uh, text in another language. I don't usually use the bonus, but I've got these pages that Julie sent me and I want to use them. I've got a piece of new music paper. I don't know whether I'll use that or not. I've got a box of butterflies. Um, I've got my book. Now, what I've already done to this page, and I did it with my two inch brayer was I just rolled some uh, metallic paint on here and if you can see how glossy it is so there's gold and there's a metallic sort of bluey color and then I went over it with a coat of clear gesso that's why it sounds like sandpaper so compared to normal paper you can hear the difference okay so whether I do anything else to that I don't know but I thought what I might do, just to be different this week, is to actually tape off my page so that my collage is in a border. So I'm going to use my bone folder just to burnish that. Okay, so I'm going to try and get my collage in there. Now, I want to cut this out to begin with because I want to know which face I'm going to use but I want to keep the flower I saw someone else doing something that I want to try let's see what I'm doing are we not um, I'm not going to do it this week I'll do it another week and it involves a couple of holes so that's got that out of there and as I said I want to cut out that flower goodness I'm going to use that bit, just cut the back off it, got just a little bit of a lip on that side so I'll, I should get my little cutter and do that, yeah if I use this because that doesn't look like it's actually square, somehow, oh, not square, um, even. So I want it about the same size on both sides. So I need to take off about that much. Whatever that is. No, that looks about even. And I'll just get that out of there while I'm at it. Ok, 
Okay, so that's done. I don't think I'll need that again. Just put it there in case. Okay, so there's a bit of card left over. Got them. Yeah, I reckon that I'm going to have to use this big face in there to fill it. Like that. And then I use this behind there somehow. I don't want it to be all squared up. I like it, everything to be off center. I know a lot of people don't like things being off center, but I actually do. So put her like that. The Royal Albert could go somewhere like that. I've got the scissors, uh, the, yeah, the scissors, which I'll fussy cut out shortly. They can go like up the side. I've got the flower and I've got the candle. Okay, and I've got my bit of green. So I need to do a bit of cutting, so I'll do that off screen. So I was thinking something like that. The scissors across the bottom, they don't really stand out and I will need to ink them up. Um, I like the flowers up there sort of covering her forehead like that. And the bit of green there. I have got more of that paper so I could always, maybe if I put a bit behind the scissors, let's see. I used this, th these scissors to cut out these scissors. <laughs> I thought it was quite amusing. Well, it amused me anyway. Put that like that. How does that look? I like that. Um, this writing, the text, I want to do something with that as far as, um, you know, like ink it or something. All right, so what I'm going to do before I forget where everything is. I'm going to take a quick photo of it. Oh, a clean lens makes for better shots, really. Would never have guessed. <laughs> it comes up and says that just about every time I go to take a photo. So clearly my lens is not clean. Yeah, I like that. It's funny, it looks different in the photo. I don't know if you can see it or not. Like, to me, it just looks different. To the, I don't know what it is, but I like it better on the camera. Alrighty, so let me lift all that up, bring the book back in, and place that in there. Okay, so the first thing I want to do is, sorry Julie, but I'm going to be tearing up this around the edge of it anyway. Actually, zoom out a bit get back out. That's better. And I don't have to worry about getting out of frame as much. I've done that before where I've zoomed in and then forgotten to zoom back out again. I'm busily working away. Then when I go to uh, edit my video, <laughs> you can't see half of what I was doing because I'd forgotten to zoom back out again. Anyway, it happens. So I hope everyone's well and happy and we're, we're up to 20, 26, is that right? It would be, wouldn't it? Yeah, so that's halfway through the year. That's incredible. I can't believe how fast this year is going. I've got my oldest granddaughter turns 15 at the beginning of July. And my son turns, my youngest son turns 39 at the end of July. Makes me feel old, real old. So, am I going to put that crooked? Did I have it crooked? Yeah, I did. So I'm going to put that on an angle like that. So let me think about this. Do I want to put anything 
on this here. <laughs> I don't know. I might do a little bit of stenciling. So let me find a nice stencil. So I've got that one, which is one I made on my Cricut. It's all it is is um, one of the Cricut images, the free ones. I just uh, expanded it. And then I've got this alphabet one. I like the, uh, the letters. I actually do like that. I didn't really want to do vintage, uh, vintage photo. No, I want something a bit brighter. I've got um, cracked pistachio. Let's try that. That'll do. Can't really tell because I don't think it's going to show up. It needs to be more patterned. So find something and maybe go back to this one and use a brush to put it on. So yeah, I have used this. Um, it tore when I was pulling it off the mat. I'm only new to using a Cricut. I think when I bought my mat, I bought it the wrong one. I bought a strong hold one where I didn't really need a strong hold. And um, what happens is, especially when you're taking stuff like this off, it, uh, it tears because it's got little bits. But I've collected all my bits up and um, I'm going to glue my bits together and make a Franken stencil. So if you're a member of the Makers Creative, uh, make, what is it? Creative, yeah, mix me. <laughs> I can't remember what the group's called now. It's P&M Artist Studios group on Facebook. <laughs> Simplify it for people like me. Um, yeah, so they have a hashtag, I glued my bits. So, that's not too bad. Yeah, so if um, you glue your bits and pieces when you make a stencil, or if you get a stencil from them, they include <laughs> the little bits that come out of it when they cut it, if you, if you ask for them. Okay, so that'll do. I'll stick that on there. Yeah, so you, you got all these odd little bits and pieces. Um, I'll show you which come out from around the stencil when you pull it off so like that pieces like that broken butterfly that I tore in half another bit of broken butterfly but there's other things in here there's long bits and short bits and these are neat they came off the stencil that I just used so they go where did they come from in there so I reckon I can make some really good stuff out of that. And the edge as well. So around the outside. Okay. Uh, glue. I'm going to glue that down now. So I'll use some of this nori paste to glue this down. Hopefully it'll work. Sometimes it doesn't like to stick on to painted surfaces because I put the clear gesso and the just clear gesso has got tooth in it so it's got a gritty feel about it so I think it will work I'm hoping it will work anyway beautiful day here today it was cold this morning it was only nine degrees Celsius so I think that's I don't know 35 something like that degrees Fahrenheit I'm not sure uh, yeah, but it's warmed up. I mean, I'm sitting here without long sleeves on or anything. Okay, so that's on there. I like that. So that's the next bit I'm going to put on there, which I'm going to put like that. Let's use the same glue. i just put the brush in water. Okay, let's dry that off a bit. So, what has to go under it? Or should I just... You know what I'm going to do? I'm going to do stick it together. Just tack it together before I finalise it. 
so that I can make sure I get it in everything in the right place. So I was putting that down a little bit. Yeah, and that's why I wanted the flowers over her head and I had tipped her head to the side somewhat. I thought it looked I think it looks better when her eyes are tipping down one way like that. Why don't I use this tape? that there. I'll take the back of it. Get it off there. And then the, f the candle is up here. So that was coming down a little bit off, off center. So in the photo, yeah, that is on her forehead, there. Yep. Stick that there. And then the flowers were there. Like, yeah, sticking off the edge a little bit. Fill in the gap there, so that it go like that. I need to move that over a little bit because I've got a hole. Doesn't matter. It will to me. So just pull that off. Just move it a little bit. Just a little bit. There will do. You know that old saying, it seemed like a good idea at the time. <laughs> okay, so, so far so good. Going back. And then the Royal Albert was poking out of there. Like that which I might just glue on and then the, the green was behind it. Looks like that. This was behind it. I'll link around that. Probably should have inked around the Royal Albert thing. Oh, don't need to ink that bit, it's gone behind the card. Getting a bit carried away. See, I forgot to do this. I should have done it before I started putting it together. I just totally forgot. All right, so that goes there, that goes there, that goes something like that. And then this bit goes there. Let's put it off center, maybe that way. And then the scissors go on top of the green. And I need to ink the scissors. Um, I've got some colored pencils and I think I might color her eyes in because she's a bit, you know, anemic looking. Should I do this? bit better. Okay. So they go on there. Okay, 
so let's glue them down. Spread the glue out and put that there like that. Then that can go on there like that. Looks a bit like a crocodile. Oh, on the news, I saw this guy. Um, he was at a resort or something. He must have been the the um, groundsman somewhere up in northern Queensland. And this crocodile had come up into somebody's camp and he bashed it away with a frying pan. <laughs> I couldn't believe it. Talk about Crocodile Dundee. Yeah, and it just, um, once he hit it on the snout a couple of times, it it uh, retreated back into the water. <laughs> I wouldn't be doing it if it was me. We were running for the hills. Crocodiles are a really big threat up in northern Queensland. You can't swim in most of the rain, you know, like the rainforest uh, rivers and creeks, unless you want to be a crocodile's breakfast. I was watching something on YouTube once and, oh, I might actually been on Netflix about all the things that can kill you when you come to, to Australia. Uh, there's quite a few. <laughs> Where I used to live in the Northern Territory, you couldn't swim in the water. I mean, there was crocodiles up there too. Um, and buffaloes would be wandering along the beach. But you couldn't swim in the ocean because of the marine stingers from um, November to May, I think it was. So during the wet season, you couldn't swim in the, in the ocean. Well, stick on you silly thing. I need to get some more glue down and glue that on and then I can fix the other bit up. <clears throat> so I wanted that to be sort of a little off centre. I'm just going to put heaps of this glue on here. That Royal Albert thing does not want to stick. Could be because I keep bumping it, I guess. Let me just put it down so it's going sort of like that. And then all of this is going down like that. So um, what I always do after I finish filming is I go over all my glue, gluings, to make sure that they're all holding and I'm not going to fall out of my book a bit later on but uh, for the purpose of doing the video it's just a, click, a quick glue down yeah I've got glue everywhere I suppose oh squashed my scissors okay so I'm going to get my coloured pencils out and I just want to put a little shadow around that. Okay, so I've got my Prismacolor pencils here and I'm thinking that I should do this with a colour that, not black, you know, yeah, like that colour, which is a dark green PC908, whatever that means. Got a few little bits po poking up again. So, um, as I said, I will uh, go over it all off camera after I finish. Make sure it's all nicely seated on the page. So, that'll do for that. So there's a nice peachy colour here and I'll just give our lips a bit of colour. A different colour on the top, just a hint. It's 
just a tiniest little hint of a blush on the cheeks. Oh, didn't mean to do that. These are only brand new, these pencils, so I haven't had a chance to sharpen them at all. Um, just see if I can smudge that with, or get rid of it. Probably not. That's all right. Doesn't matter. She might have a scar on her face. Um, her eye color, green. I think she's gonna have green eyes. like that. Do a little bit of splattering. So I've got my watercolours. So I will do some black and I think that's a greeny colour there. I'll water them all down. Those ones. I need to cover her face up. I don't want to get anything on her face. Oh I stuck a butterfly there in case you hadn't noticed. Okay, so that's enough black. Soaking into that um, old book page. Now this dark green colour, yeah, that looks nice. And I want a little bit of gold on there. So I might spray some on, or drizzle some on with the end of, yep, that, it's, I don't really want it on the prompts, it doesn't matter, I'm going to be cutting them up anyway, and then I think some white, I'll try some white watercolour for a change, see how that works, use a different brush, I don't think I've ever used this white before, I just picked that up and I was looking at the wrong side and I was thinking oh my goodness I've done the wrong ones. <laughs> um, I had fun the other day uh, making some collage paper from tissue and um, I collected some some leaves when I was walking Luna and then I, when I got home I went around my garden and got a few more and I used them as stamps on the tissue paper. Some of them worked out really well. Um, so I actually recorded all that. So that video you'll find a link for up in the top right hand corner up there. If you want to check that out. Uh, that's part one because the ones that didn't turn out so great. I mean they're still awesome. Um, I'm going to film uh, like put some extra colors and things on them just to jazz them up a bit probably some coffee staining and um, inks and things gold no doubt because i only really used black paint it didn't really give me a border um, too much of a border by doing this um, probably because I didn't use something that was really different to what was already on there. So I used the cracked pistachio, which is very similar to the color that it was already. I'm not going to ink this or anything. I'm just gonna stick it down. Hopefully it'll stay there. So it's week 26. So something that emits heat emits heat, I should say, is my candle. Something royal is the royal albert. So a pair of something is my scissors. I think I need to go around those scissors still again. Put it up the right way would help. A face and a bit of green 
which is my jelly print. And the bonus was text other than English or your native language, which is that page of whatever text it is, very old world looking, that Julie sent to me. Now what did I say about the scissors? I need to go, I think I need to go around them. Is there a white pencil in here? That's what it needs. Yes, there we go. Just going to see if this works. If not, I'll get a gel pen and do it. It's a bit wet from the glue, so I'm going to get my gel pen. And just go over lightly. Probably don't need to go all the way around it, just in some places. <laughs> I'll um, put a heavy object on top of this when I turn the camera off. Okay, so that's, that's the end of it, that's the finish. So it's week 26, so we've got something that emit, emits heat can't say that, is the candle, something royal is the royal albert, some, a pair of something is the scissors, a face, a bit of green, so I've got some green jelly prints, bits of jelly print, um, and then text in another language, other than my own language. Okay, so that's it. Hope you like that. Give me a thumbs up. Uh, and leave a comment or leave a question. I like to see questions. Next thing that I've got coming up is part two of my collage paper. So I'll be decorating that. I've got collage collaboration with Julie, but that's not until the first Wednesday of July. And of course, on the second Wednesday of July will be the doodling collaboration. So there's only two more months of that left I think for the doodling one so if you want to join in the fun now's the time to do it you can post it anytime you know like you don't have to do it on the day you can do it afterwards anytime during that month so all right thanks for watching and stay safe stay happy and I'll say cheerio from Australia hooroo bye for now